There's a butterfly at the door. Yeah. I think he's telling you it's over there. You got it. Hey, what's up, guys? I decided to devote this entire vlog to programming the Baofeng. The reason why is it is a pain in the butt. You can go watch my video that I did in the past on programming the Baofeng. It has details, but I'm going to go, I hope, a step further in explaining what it is you need to do to avoid all the pitfalls that are programming this guy. Step one, light yourself some candles, get into your happy place because this is a pain in the butt. No matter what people say, you always got that hip guy that's going to tell you, oh yeah, I can do it no problem, or I can manually program the bell thing, no problem. It, it's true, it, once you get used to it, it's not that hard, but that's after you've banged your head across the, the wall for multiple hours in some cases. The most important place to start, and the thing that I'm going to reiterate over and over again, and I'm going to link you down below in the description, to the cable you need to buy to program the Baofeng. Don't buy the $6 cable or the $8 cable or the $4 cable. Buy the $20 cable. And I know some of you are thinking, but the radio costs $30 and the cable costs $20. I know. You just, you're now in $50 for radio communication. That's still unheard of. You're still getting a killer deal. So go down below and get that cable. It is going to make your life a thousand times easier, particularly if you're on a Mac. If you're on a Mac, it's going to make everything so much easier. With that said, let's say you bought the crappy cable. For you window guys, this makes it incredibly easy if you just load this stupid CD. Load this CD, run with this CD. This will make this cable work. The problem, much like everything the Chinese do, inside here is a chip that is copied based off of the proper USB to serial cable. What this cable does is it converts the serial data from the radio into USB data via a chip that's in here. These chips are incredibly counterfeit. This cable is a counterfeit cable. So for Windows users, you must use the old driver that comes in the box, okay? This is the cheap cable. Don't buy this. Buy the $20 cable. It'll save everybody's time. The reason is the $20 cable has the real USB chip. It's plug and play in Macs and PCs. You don't have to do anything different. I repeat, <laughs> warning, 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 go buy the more expensive cable. But let's say you didn't buy the expensive cable and you're on a Mac or you're on a Windows PC and you don't have that disc. What do you need to do? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to go down, to go download Chirp. Chirp is the programming software for the Mac and the PC. Works great with Baofengs. It works great with a lot of radios, but it makes the Baofeng programming so much easier. Just use Chirp. So now that you've downloaded Chirp, you're going to need to get your radio. Don't connect the antenna because you don't want to be broadcasting when you're trying to program the radio. Some of the radios broadcast when they program. Just connect it to the battery. Take your cable, plug it in. It only goes one way and then plug it into your USB when your computer is on and turned on, okay? Plugged in, then turn your radio on. Now using Chirp, you're gonna go to radio, download from radio in the upper bar. You're gonna select the appropriate USB driver for your given device. Now, the best way to do this is run Chirp, select the dropdown, note what's there, then run it again after connecting, and the new one is the one you use. You select Baofeng, these are the UV5R. So oddly enough, this radio works with this bad cable. This is the BF-F8HP. This is the radio that I got for just Dano. It's almost identical to the UV5R that I gave away in the giveaway, except it's an eight watt radio. This is a more expensive radio. This is $60, okay? But this works with the crappy cable. Totally surprised. I didn't know that was gonna work. I thought it had the same guts as the UV5R, just an amped up uh, amplifier basically in it. And it works, okay, excellent. So with this, you're basically off and running. Okay, so great, we've already made things easier. Step one, go to the link below which is my Amazon store, and buy the more expensive radio, and I'll get a bigger cut. And then it'll be so much easier for you because you're gonna buy the right cable and you buy the bigger cut. It's it's a win-win for everybody, guys. Seriously, though, 
I'm going to amend my previous statement. This is the cheaper cable. You can get away with the cheaper cable with the more expensive radio. There you go, I saved you some money. You don't have to use my link if you don't want to. You don't have so much luck though with the UV5R. There's a whole different thing you have to go through. You still have to load the USB if you're Windows, and if you're Mac, you've got to load the prolific driver. I will post the link below, and I'll show you what that looks like. It's under micklore.com. If you go to the link and you select FAQ, determining what cable I have, installing the proper driver. If you're a Mac user, go to Mac OS driver and info below. It'll go right to the thing that says prolific driver PL2303 version 0.3.1. That link might get better, it might change, it doesn't matter. You just need to download it and you need to use it. Because what happens is that USB cable uses the prolific copyright or copy catted device. It's an old device, it's not as effective as the $20 cable. It'll do the job, you just have to jump through these hoops because it's not supported by most operating systems anymore. Okay, so once that's complete, it's gonna bring up an installer. You run the installer, you agree to the terms and conditions. Let it load. Okay, so we found out that the BF F8 HP, the eight watt radio, really easy to program with the cheap cable. So keep that in mind when you're deciding what radio you wanna buy. But if you go with the cheaper one, the UV5R, which is a 5 watt radio, or is it 4 watt? I don't remember. You're going to have to jump through a little bit more hoops. Unless, of course, you buy the good cable, which I have linked below. Check that out. Okay, UV5R. So I should have the new version of the prolific driver. Connect the cable first, then turn the radio on. Radio. 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 Want that? Radio. I want that. I want that. Well, you gotta wait. Okay, Daddy. Fire. Fire. What? The candles. Fire. Oh, the candles. Stop. And there we go. It's now working. So you got to use the right driver at all times and you got to make sure you figure out what cable you have. And sometimes you have to bring up the system's information, do a system chest report and figure out which drivers you have. For Windows, you go to device driver and they'll be under USB. For Mac, you got to do a system report under Apple about this Mac system report. And under USB, you should see something that says prolific. If it says prolific, it's the bad cable, it's the cheap cable and you got to go through this extra step. So once you have your radio connected and you have the right driver, a radio. that's right, radio, you download from radio, radio, download from radio in the, in the chirp menu, select the appropriate driver, the one you just loaded in the case of the Mac, you select UV5R from the Baofeng group because that's what's connected, it's not the BF, and you hit OK. What you should see is the light should be flashing as it's loading or downloading from radio. Now, if you want to just load repeaters, it gets really easy from this point. You wait for the cloning to finish, and you're gonna go under radio, and you're gonna go import from repeater book. So you wanna go radio, import from data source, repeater book. And under repeater book, I'll just do Los Angeles County to make it easy. California, county is Los Angeles, and just do two meters for fun for, for this. But what you do is you you'd usually do two meters and then 70 centimeters. What's gonna happen is it's gonna show you this query it's gonna give you a big old list and it's gonna let you select where you wanna put it. Yeah? Now, what's gonna happen? Yeah. It's gonna show you one through X or whatever and you load it onto the radio, the memory stations you want. What? There's no bug. That's the mouse. Mouse. Yeah. I have mouse. When you're ready to commit the thing, when you're ready to commit the whole thing to radio, you're gonna to go to radio, upload to radio. Same the rules, it's gonna bring up the USB and it's already gonna have the radio all filled out for you. And then you hit okay. Bye. What you should Bye. see is the light flashing again as it's cloning that to the memory in the radio. And that's pretty much it. Is that pretty much it? Yeah. Yeah. So once you've uploaded the radio, a good way to test it out is just throw the antenna on and see if you can receive the, the repeater. Now, 
the trick with a lot of this stuff is it's a lot of going back and forth because you don't really know which repeaters are populated, which ones are popular, which ones are commonly used. So you're going to end up scanning around a lot. But once you find a repeater that's populated, all you need to do is connect your antenna. So basically that's all there is to it at that point. But say you want to go a little bit more complex and you want to use this as a scanner as well. It's a really easy way to find local sheriffs, law enforcement, EMTs and whatnot is use radioreference.com and I'll post the link down below as well. And so once you have that, you can just type in your different frequencies that you're looking for on the receive side and again upload that to the radio and that's pretty much it. You'll have a nice little scanner, portable scanner in these cases that you can kind of carry with you and have it all the time. I, I think I'm really going to have to give the recommendation though to this BF F8HP. The, the more I've been playing around with it, the more I really like it. Comes with an extended battery. All the buttons are just a little bit more refined than the UV5R. It's almost the same radio except it's got more power. So, you know, why wouldn't you want to go with that option? At least you'd have it there. You don't have to transmit at that power, mind you. You can lower that with the internal, the internal me menus. But, you know, it's there if you need it and that's good. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You know, again, I need to remind you, go buy the right cable for the job. And even though the better cable works with the more expensive radio, or I'm sorry, the cheaper cable works with the more expensive radio, you might want to get the better cable just in case you have friends or, or whoever, or you're thinking about getting the cheaper model. And then it just works and you don't have to worry about it. That's something that's a, very much a positive thing behind this radio, behind the other radio is their cost. And keeping it cheap is nice, but you really do need the right cable to be able to program this. Don't try and program this from the keyboard. You can, but the thought of programming 100 channels of this thing manually just makes my hands cramp and my head hurt. So don't do it. All right, guys. Post your questions in the comments. Let me know if this is helpful. Uh, I hope this is helpful. Let me know what else I can do. If there's something you want to do specifically with the Baofeng, let me know. All right, guys. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.